I have a ping pong ball and a funnel, a small funnel, in which the ping pong ball fits along with a piece of plastic tubing. I'm going to blow into this really hard to try to blow out the ping pong ball. And you notice that I can't blow the ping pong ball out. And notice as well that I can put the ball upside down and it stays in the funnel as long as I keep blowing. When I stop blowing, the ball falls out. That'll be something to really confuse your students. And impress the parents in your school. How do you explain this phenomenon? So here's a diagram of our funnel and the ball sitting in the funnel. When we blow through here, the air comes in at a high speed and goes around. It goes around the space between the ball and the funnel. Because the air is moving faster here, we have a low pressure right in this region here, in the upper part of the ball. Down below here, we have a high pressure. The air on the bottom is not moving, and therefore we have a high pressure. And it's that high pressure that actually gives the ball the lift and stays in position. So as long as I blow and create a low pressure here, the high pressure underneath lifts up the ball and keeps it in place. And you can ask the students, could I do this with a golf ball? And you can bring out a golf ball and do the demonstration with that.